Now in this video we're going to go through three rules of inference and they are conjunction, disjunctive, syllogism, and contradiction. Now contradiction I'm going to briefly touch upon in this video and go more in depth in the next couple of videos. But for conjunction it is simply if you have a P and a Q then you end up with or that implies or that infers P and Q. Disjunctive syllogism is more more uh, more detailed in this case we have p or q and not p and that implies q that is the symbolic form and this is its its own self in its tabular form now you can say that with this example that john's keys are in his pocket or on, on his desk this would be our p or on his desk. Now, or on his desk would be our Q, and I'll just switch colors here. John's keys are in his pocket or in his desk. Q. Now, this statement, number two, John's keys are not in his pocket, so that is pretty much not P. And thus, we find out that John's keys are on his desk. So, you're given an or situation, and you given another situation where you know one of those uh, two statements and the first statement is false, then you end up with the inference that 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 the, the second statement of the first statement is true. So given one or two things, you're known, you know that one thing is false, so it must be the other thing. So that's kind of the basic idea behind disjunctive syllogism and these two uh, rules of inferences are really simple, so I'm not really going to go through them that much detail. Rule of contradiction. So we have our P as our arbitrary statement and FO as our contradiction, of course. So when we negate P, that implies FO. So that is our tabular form, and that infers P. So here I have our truth table, and you can work it out to give yourself the the comfort of knowing that this is true. So we have P being 1, 0 and negated P being the inverse of that of course. Now FO is always 0 because it's false and 0 pretty much represents false at any time. So we have negated P implies FO that will give us 1, 0 and this statement when this statement infers P that will give us 1, 1 because 1 uh, 1 imply 1 is 1, 0 implies 0 is 1. So this rule pretty much tells us that if P is a statement, so if P, if this is just a statement, and this negated P implies FO is true, so that means that uh, what we know is negated P is false. So that negated P implies FO is just it's just validating that negated P must be false because FO is false. If negated P implies FO is true, then that pretty much validates that negated P is false. Thus, we know that if negated P is false, then P must be true. So that is all I want to go through in this video. It's just a really short video. We'll go through contradiction a bit more in the next couple of videos, but hope you learned something. And uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. And I'll see you guys again in the next video.